The power of the Attorney General derives from the Texas Constitution. Is that not true? From Texas Constitution and Texas law statutes. The Constitution is what gives the Attorney General the power to act. Isn't that right? The, the Constitution and the statutes passed by the legislature, yes. Your power to act, if any, derives directly from the AG. Isn't that right? It's derived from the AG, but it's also derived from the statutes. Yeah. You're not authorized to take his name off his letterhead, are you? Am I authorized to take his name off the letterhead? I'm sorry, are, is that a question? Are yeah, you saying I'm, I'm, I'm repeating your question to make sure I understand it. Could you restate it? I can absolutely restate it. You, as deputy, as first assistant, are not authorized to remove your boss's name from his letterhead, are you? I don't know if that's true or not. Did you not look? I mean, aren't you a lawyer? Isn't that something you better look at before you do it? Um, I don't recall doing it, sir. You don't recall sending correspondence with the attorney general's name removed? I do not. You wouldn't have done that, would you? I, by implication of your question, it must have happened, but I don't remember. Oh, it happened. My question is, is that legal? I don't, I don't know it's illegal. Well, did you check before you guys were sending correspondence without your boss's name on it? I didn't personally check, no. Well, I thought you were a rule of law guy. Isn't that what you told us? I'm a rule of law guy. I am a rule of law guy. Mr. Okay, Mr. rule of law guy. Is it legal to send out correspondence without your boss's name on it? Official correspondence from the AG's office? I don't think it's illegal, no. You don't think it's illegal? I do not. Is that how you decide your legal, your legal analysis is by just whether you think it is or not? No, it's supposed to be based upon what I believed and what I know about the law. Well, what do you base that on? Why don't you uh, what, what I believe is, what I do recall is before I became first assistant, the prior first assistant, actually one of the complaints that the attorney general had with the prior first assistant was that, that he, the original letterhead didn't have Mr. Paxson's name on it. 